We're just making our way back from a beautiful hot spring here in Idaho called Pine Flats Hot Springs near the town of Loman. It's so very beautiful in here. And in this video today, I wanted to share with you a packing list or some essentials that you have to pack for your hot springs adventure, especially during winter. And if you've never been to a hot spring during winter, you definitely should. It's a beautiful way to explore the outdoors, relax, and just take in the beauty of the place that you're going to. I'll talk here about a couple of things that you should definitely have with you. And then I'm going to share with you some lessons learned from my own hot springs adventures. This is what we came to Idaho for. We're just hot springs hopping. It's such a beautiful thing to do here. And I hope that you guys find some value in this video. And I hope that it helps you to plan for your next adventure. We often forget how much water our bodies lose through sweat when we are in the water, especially hot water. Hydration should be priority number one if you are spending an extended amount of time soaking in hot springs. I prefer to pack an insulated water bottle like this hydro flask for a nice cold sip whenever I need to. Many hot springs are usually out in the woods with very little change to their natural state, which usually means that the rocks can be pretty sharp. Make sure you have a pair of water shoes or sandals that you can wear while soaking to protect your feet from getting sliced by sharp rocks. Some hot springs require that you hike to get to them, and during winter, some trails can get icy and tricky to walk on. You might need your hiking shoes or boots alongside with crampons or micro spikes. Check trail conditions before you head out and make sure that you are prepared accordingly. A microfiber towel. I love this microfiber towel. Not only it's compact, but it's also quick to dry and I can either use it to dry myself or wrap my wet hair in it. You can also consider packing a bathrobe. Sure, you will look goofy, but I love the convenience that comes with getting out of the hot spring, putting my bathrobe on and walking to the car without having to take off my swimsuit or change at the hot spring. And then I would just throw my jacket on top of the bathrobe if it's really cold outside. If you're going to a hot spring at sunrise or sunset, make sure that you have a headlamp with you alongside with some extra batteries. For your wet clothes like your swimsuit, water shoes, towels, pack some trash bags to keep things neat and tidy in your car. If you're planning on taking your phone with you, make sure it's protected in a waterproof case. This is the one that I usually take kayaking and it works pretty well. Soaking in hot springs can be a great way to naturally detox and soften rough or dry skin thanks to the high amount of silica in the water. But even with that, when you are done with your adventure in hot springs, take time to clean your skin and apply some form of hydration cream or serum to help your skin recover. I hope you found these tips to be useful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more adventure travel tips and guides. And let us know in a comment what was your first experience like going to a hot spring during winter? Thank you again. My name is Habiba. This is Trekking Pals and I will see you very soon on a new adventure.